wants to go, and generally it's only like one other person who can. So. But yeah, we'll get a nice little fox ditto. I'm assuming. Oh, never mind. Yeah, KGB's got a tag on. Never mind. I was gonna say I'm assuming Mojo's vanilla fox. Vanilla fox is so clean. Vanilla fox is. What? Oh, okay. Hey, Eric. Uh. <coughs> Uh, Hydra Dick's in the chat for Eric, please. <laughs> but looks like they're going to Battlefield. Nothing special here. I feel like Fox Dittos are so weird because it's just two. It, it's just two of the character that can do anything, mm -hmm. running after each other. So I, I actually really like watching this matchup a lot. It's really interesting watching, uh, because everyone's got like a different type of fox. Mm -hmm. So it's really interesting watching the data, like seeing their differences like, come out. Like you've seen a lot of, uh, like right off the bat, like Mojo's doing a lot of running shines and mm -hmm. uh, whatnot. And KGB is trying to crouch cancel up tilt a lot. But yeah, see like, yeah, Mojo's just trying to find his opening with shine. I like watching uh, Mojo and the Fox Ditto a lot because he he has this like I feel like he has this like type of fox where the options that he chooses kind of put you in uncomfortable feeling situations like that yeah. where he just jabs you and then grabs afterwards like who does that yeah. when would you ever be prepared for something like that yeah it's like when you're getting hit by the jab you're like uh, uh what do I do what do I do and then you get hit by the grab before you even have a chance to react yeah. to it and there's something to be said for that. I mean, if your opponent is always ready with the defense, unless you're a character like Falcon who has like a bullshit mix-up based on perfect defense, right. uh, then I mean, you know, it's it's better for them to not be ready for something because they can die or take more percent. Ooh, real bad spot for KGB. Can Armada shine? Nope. He's just gonna decide to let him come back. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Wait. Hello. Oh. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Get him, KGB. Back here. Justin, what do you have to say about the Fox Ditto? I'll be your muse. Oh, okay. That actually he said it's fun and explosive. Unless you're off stage against Mojo, and then it's not fun. True facts. Ooh. Good up tilt. I would have went for another up tilt to pop him up. He goes for a shine. That's... Wow. Okay. <laughs> Justin says, why doesn't he drop those against me? Ooh. Actually, really good job he didn't get the jump there. <gasps> What's happening? Okay. KGB went high. That's very smart. That was going to be uh, bad. Ooh. Okay, so now Mojo's just missing with him. Maybe uh, KGB is actually subtly outplaying Mojo. To an extent. True. Oh, ah! Okay. okay. All right. Hello? Well, no! All right. Wow, I hated that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mojo takes game one. It's pretty clean three stock. Uh, KGB, I don't know where he's going to go. Uh, I doubt he runs it back. I doubt he goes to FB. He probably goes Pokemon or Dreamland. Actually, no. Knowing him, he's actually probably going to go Yoshi's. He just shouldn't bother with a counter pick. Yeah, honestly. <clears throat> Never mind. I guess he's going FD. I don't know my friend. Mm. Thought I did. Okay, well, that's just disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Those lasers are broken. Yeah, they are. They go all the way across the stage, and you can't hit them? They're transcendent. Oh, my God. Ugh. That would be I was questionable. Yeah, so my whole thing about counter picks is that I think you should always go to where you're most comfortable mm -hmm. and... A lot of the time, counterpicking a stage just isn't like super beneficial. But uh, I feel like when it comes to FD, you should basically never take the better player here. Yeah. Like if you lost because that person's just better than you, don't take them to FD. Yeah, because then there's there's no oh I can do platform mix up to have more options. It's oh they're just gonna outplay me harder now. Yeah, and they're just gonna like murder you, especially in the spacey matchups. I feel like. Spacies have such strong punishes against each other on this stage. Yeah, Mojo barely taking any percent right now. Looking kind of rough. He got a grab on that last stock, and it's pretty much over right there. Oh, oh. and grabs a little too early. All right, can you do the same? No. Oh. See, and that's, what's, that's what hurts. Is, you know, you go to your counter pick, 
you get your grab, which should be your strongest punish, and you uh, miss the chain grab, and then, it's, then you start feeling like, damn, I should have done it. Yeah, especially when it comes to the grab game, I feel like Mojo is just kind of doing it better than KGB. Yeah. Like, KGB isn't necessarily going for anything wrong, he's just not doing it. Yeah. Which is easier said than done, obviously, but damn. Up, gamer kids. Oh, hey, gamer kids. You have really strong caps. Okay. I do. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> I was patting him on the leg, and I was just like, fuck. Damn. Wow. <laughs> All right. My head? Hmm? <laughs> okay, go. Okay, are we good? Yeah. Okay, just like, oh my god. <laughs> China. Oh. Oh. <laughs> or that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Mojo like barely even sparked. JV. KGB's like, yo, that was sick. Mojo's like, yeah, that's what I do. Mojo's just like, yeah, that's what I do. You took me to FD. I don't right. know why you did that.